This is a new series called Romer's First Consequence, a show where I play through the first few hours of a game and give my thoughts based off just the first few hours of that game. Today on the docket is Xenoblade Chronicles 2 for the Nintendo Switch. I've been waiting to play this for a while, ever since I obsessed over Xenoblade Chronicles 1, a game that I loved so very much, and had a full 90 hour playthrough of. I hope you enjoyed this series, and all series like this in the future, it's not gonna stop Let's Plays, but it will be a side thing that I can do that is actually just for fun at the same time. Let's get into it. Believe it or not, this is actually my first time using the, the controller, the actual controller that comes with the Switch, like the, uh, the little dock, th like the dock thing for the actual controller. It actually feels pretty good. Feels pretty good, pretty okay. Music here is fantastic already. Oh, I'm so hyped to play this. There it is. It's been a long while since I played Xenoblade Chronicles 1, but I can still remember like that ending is so striking, you know? There's lots of other things that are striking about the game too. One thing is I was really bad at it, I know that. But you know, there's games that you're really bad at but you can still love, you know? I feel like too often we mistake games that we are bad at and games that are bad, you know what I mean? It's like, I'm bad at this game, so this game must be bad. It's like, or maybe we're just bad at video games, you know what I mean? <laughs> Here we go. The visuals, like, you know, they're very familiar. I've also not looked up any single thing. This, okay, this way, scenario. I love this. People use story. I love when you use scenario. Wait, I've, I've actually not looked up anything about this game. I know the name of the main character and what the main character looks like from Zelda, the DLC. But that's it. Everything else I'm completely 100% blind on. I never watched a trailer for this game. Which some people might say I'm a bad consumer. That's fine. I probably am. Tetsuya Nomura. Freaking genius. It is a very slow start. Very cozy. Cozy in like the darkest way because once I remember it's water, I'm afraid of under going underwater or being up in the sky, so... I like being on land. But this looks great. This is also my first time playing a Switch game really on the TV. I play handheld, uh, handheld mode like personally, that's the thing I usually go for. This is a game that knows how much people loved the first game because there's like been no dialogue so far. Here we go. We really do need to buy ourselves a new depth probe. The ping was off by 150 peds to the east. That's not gonna fly. And what about the treasure, Rex? Was it in line with your expectations? It seemed pretty solid. Didn't even have to reinforce it too much. Even with the labor costs, we should be able to turn a decent profit. Honestly, it takes you two days to run the structural analysis. Whoa. <laughs> Yet somehow you can gauge the profits in an instant. Don't go raining on my parade, Gramps. You know, I'm in the salvaging trade for the cash. And little business sense goes a long way. All right. Whoa. Didn't expect that. You've been living in this thing, big guy. Really nice moves. No worries, Oh, I'd love to slide up to live there. Oh my god, this is so cool. Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited to get back. I haven't I haven't fought in a game like this for a while. 
I know that it's not like it's it's a different form of combat. And it's actually a very fun form of combat. I feel like people um I feel like people misunderstand the combat a lot in this game. So yeah, time to earn your lunch. You initiate combat. The first thing Rex needs to do is draw his weapon. To draw your weapon, simply press A while targeting enemy. To, uh, to target enemy, just press R. Simple enough. You can tell which enemy you're targeting by the target marker displayed over their head. This looks really good. Incidentally, you can also sheathe your weapon if you'd rather not continue a fight. It's as simple as holding down R and pressing B. If you approach the targeted enemy with your weapon drawn, you'll execute attacks automatically. This is your standard auto attack. Got all that? Then it's time to draw your weapon and prepare your lunch. Yes, here we go. So yeah, this is a, a kind of a really cool thing. Auto attacks are delivered in sets of three. The attack bar increases with each blow. So you'd want to like, like get, get, can you move an attack still? Or is that just, you have to stand still? I'm okay with that, okay. Or maybe I'm doing it wrong. Uh, take a look at the icons in the lower right of the screen. Uh, one, one of these activities, uh, it means an art, oh, an art is ready to use. Arts are special techniques distinct from auto attacks. The icons are laid out like the controller buttons, so just press the corresponding button to each one. So, triangle. The ray charge gauge will fill as you auto attack enemies. Yes, okay. Try pressing X. Yes. Uh, the enemy dropped something. This is an item called a HP potion. Maneuver Rex to the HP potion to pick up and restore some HP. Some arts like Anchor Shot will always cause the enemy to drop a HP potion. Should you use your arts immediately to deal serious damage or save them from when you uh, need bonuses like that HP boost, consider your arts tactically. Uh, yeah, of course. There we go. We did a good job. An entire horizon of white. A sea of clouds. And at its heart, the world tree piercing the heavens. This, this is the world we call home. All rest. Story goes that when the world was young, everyone in all rest lived on the tree, together with our divine father, the architect. According to the tales, it was a bountiful land. And the people there, held the power to command even the heavens themselves. They called that paradise Elysium. But then, one day, we were cast out. Nobody knows why. Perhaps we angered our creator. Or perhaps it was something else entirely. All we know is we were forced to leave Elysium, to live here in all rest. Where it turns out, life was pretty hard. But when it seemed like we would surely die out, the architect took pity on us, sending his servants, the Titans, to save us. The few of us who survived settled on the Titans. And we've lived in harmony with them ever since. But now those Titans are beginning to die out. Uh, oh, the brazier does my weary old bones much good. You want me to move it, Gramps? No, that's quite all right. Leave it right there. Uh, right off. I actually love the voice acting. It reminds me of Dragon Quest VIII or maybe uh, even Dragon Quest XI recently. Uh, but it does remind me of very nice... Uh, it feels like I'm playing a very... In terms of voice acting, like the classic RPGs that I used to love as a kid. Nice shorts, Rex. No, I could not deal with that. <laughs> That's me done. Get out of here. Not another one. Been happening a lot lately. Mm, more so than before. I wonder if anyone was living there. It seems not. And if there had been. They would have all left by now. Makes sense. Hey, Gramps. Do you think Fonset Village will be gone too one day? 
It would not be today or tomorrow, but one day, yes, it will fall. And you too? That's how it goes with us Titans. There's no way around it. Eventually, there'll be nowhere left to live. Sadly. So, you Titans were born up there. Is that right? So they say, for what it's worth. Mind you, I was born here on all rest. Why wasn't this nominated for every award? <laughs> who could say where they were born. Can it really exist? This Elysium and the creator who said to live there. A land of plenty atop the world tree. If such a place did exist, perhaps we could all live in peace with no need for fighting. Sure would be great for everyone, even folks in Fonsa. If the Divine Architect can see us now, I wonder what he thinks. It is a very cool relationship we're seeing here between these two, uh, well, between this Titan and, uh, I, it's Rex, isn't it? That's his name. All right. Back to making money. We're gonna have to move? I think this hall should be enough for today. Oi, Gramps! Care for a little swim to the Argentum Trade Guild? You're planning on selling it now? It's getting toward my bedtime. Don't play the lazy old man with me. There's plenty of sunshine left. Kids these days. No respect, I swear. Rex also has a lot of personality as well, which is which is great. Um I think uh I th I think like I, I I personally love Shulk. As you guys know, I love Shulk with all my heart. Like I think my haircut is like Shulk's haircut at this point. <laughs> like that's how, that's how much I really like him. Uh, it's not blonde. It's not blonde or like I didn't really alter anything. It just happened naturally. I'm just you know I'm just of course I I'm gonna be the one that's gonna be holding the Minato if the world ever goes to shit as well. This is a joke by the way. Oh shit! This is beautiful. Man, this reminds this is like. This reminds you of like the yeah the RPGs I used to play as a kid. I feel like a kid again. No one, I'm afraid. <laughs> I do like it because it's like, uh, like, I know everyone, everyone, like, it's just like this whole place is just like personality in its own, like, walls, you know? Okay. Uh, looks like our adventure is about to really get going, and you can count on me to offer timely explanations of any new game features you encounter. Thank you very much. When you close the tutorial screen, you'll see a gold map return port pop on the screen until this is letting you know that you found a landmark. When you've discovered a landmark, you can return to it instantly with skip travel at any time. If you're defeated in a battle, you'll return to the last landmark you visited. All Rest has a great variety of landmarks, so discover as many as you can to help out on your adventure. And just in case you ever find yourself struggling with basic controls. Okay, grand. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, uh, first of all, I hope you guys don't mind. I'm gonna actually change some settings now just for a second. Now, you're probably- oh my god, this feels really good! 
Like, I, again, as I said before, I think Xenoblade Chronicles 1 is a goddamn masterpiece. That's just my personal opinion. Yeah, we can jump on the jumping scene is very realistic this time, too. Um, like, I, I personally, like, like think Xenoblade Chronicles 1 is a masterpiece, but I just think this feels better to move in, personally. <laughs> Hello. Oh, you, I don't get to talk to you. So, our main objective will be over there, but it seems like there's little, little side things we can do here as well. Let's take a look around. Pom pom, pom pom, Ricky. Pom pom, Ricky. <laughs> Let's see, are we going to talk to these guys? Is that what we're doing? Hey there, Rex. Oh, wait, I have to do like a old uh, early 2000s RPG voice. Hey there, Rex. Did that ship caught your eye? Uh, well, of course. Yeah, I guess it's not easy to miss. Never knew they made ships this big without the Titan at a core. I can't even begin to imagine how the whole thing works. Indeed. Do you know whose ship this is? Some clients of the chairman, I think. Don't know the details. Huh, I see. Uh, I know you're curious, but don't go climbing on board or anything, okay? I'm not that crazy. Anyway, I've got to get back to work. Alright then, see you around, Garam. That's my uh, early 2000s RPG voice. I hope you like it. Okay, uh, let's... Let's talk to this one first. Hi there! Huh. Oh, that's me saying hi there. Okay. Peri Peri, okay. Wow, Rex, good to see you. Peri Peri is just wheeling away time, watching ships go by to cargo all loaded on board. What Rex say to me together? Nice tasty Samud, or some such. Sorry, I'm kind of busy at the moment. Man, yeah, that's too bad. Peri Peri thought it would be nice to make happy memories before set off a long, long voyage. Ah, never mind, Peri Peri. It's just. Being melodramatic. Rex, keep up doing the good work with salvaging. Is that all you wanted to talk about, Perry? Very. Oh my God. You're a good person. There's a cup over here. I wonder what that's for. Okay, we'll go over there in a second. I just want to go over and talk to this guy as well, Sashar. Oh there. Oh, I keep forgetting it's him. Oh, Rex, my boy. This Nopon here just arrived to do a bit of sightseeing around Argentum. I keep saying the century changes inside Goldmouth. Just after you enter the ship, but he doesn't get it. And now he wants me to take him to Limor Inn on the third floor. I'm a salvager, not a tour guide. Now, I get this. Uh, what These aren't side quests, I don't think. I think what they are is, uh, if you get lost or if you get stuck, they'll probably just be like, hey, you can do this. Whoa, man. This is awesome. Just getting good vibes from this, you know what I mean? Just getting really good vibes from this. Story is, let me tell you a few things you might find useful. First of all, I'll explain the regular view. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I, I get it. That makes sense. Okay, it's, it's, it's telling me about, like, distance to the markers. Next up, you'll take a look at the environmental information, and the arrow mark is pointed to the right now. This will key you into info about your immediate surroundings, like weather and time of day, and so on. Okay. Next, the minimap, you can use this to get a quick, quick grasp of Rex's surroundings. The yellow marker in the middle of the, uh, shows Rex's current location and the direction he's facing. Push that towards, uh, okay. Push, oh, like this? Okay, yeah. Confident adventures might prefer to make their way through Aldress without using the minimap. Lastly, we have the current objective, as you might expect. This tells you exactly what Rex is supposed to be doing at the present time. You can toggle this visibility with ZR. So take a look there if you're ever unsure what to do next. Right now, it's telling you to go and pay a visit to Mehledo at the Mehledo at the center exchange. Just try doing that. Okay, so we have this. The so current objective is to go over there. Okay. So much cool stuff though along the way. Kind of want to take a look for it. There's a bookstore. We can go there at some point. Uh, there seems like a coffee shop, I guess. Oh, this is so cool. A weapon shop, uh, an accessory shop, I'm assuming. Uh, Noodler's Lights. Oh, so yummy, too yummy. I get it. Oh, there's a really cool designed girl here. Fucking awesome. I like it a lot. Is this the guy? Is the guy screwed over at the at the boat? Uh, really cool. We got a landmark. Okay. Let's talk to this thing then. I don't know if we should do this right away, but... Still more than I give to non friend. If you bring military supplies, then you get good price. Cease fire between Mor Arde and Uriah, not keep for too much longer, methinks. So, weaponry is hot item. 
Well, what friend thinks I'll make it worth your while? I told you before. I stay away from that sort of thing. Oh, it's shame. Rex good salvager. Could be a good way to earn pretty pennies. Waste of talent, if you ask me. Anywho, where were we? I'll take your offer. 200 now, and you know what to do with the rest. Okie okay, doodles. Sending monies to Corin of Fonset Village, is right? Yeah. It's a beautiful thing, sending money home at such young age. I touched. Wish my own dumb dumb little pond did same. It's cause Gramps doesn't charge rent. Eh hey, hey. Alright, I'm counting on you. Roger, pleasure doing business. They're doing a fantastic job of world building. Uh they really are. Um I don't want our current objective. Explore, we can just explore very well. Uh my oh, okay. Oh god. Hello, Rex. The few name. Been a while. Rex looking high spirits. I know. How say? Yes. Peppy. Been worse. So, you got something for me? New job, maybe? Something like that. Ah, by the way. Rex come from Fonset Village in Lethirian Archipelago, yes? Yeah, that's right. Why'd you ask? You should go straight to boardroom of chairman. Wait, what's going on? Chairman Banner asked for Rex by name. The chairman? For me? Okay, as I was saying, they're doing a very good job of world building. So yeah, we have to go and see the chairman. Okay, uh, yeah, but they're doing a really good job of world building. Like, you're learning so much without actually feeling forced into learning so much, if you know what I mean. Because I feel like sometimes... Oh, we can't grab... Oh yeah, we can't grab onto ledges, which is fine. We are wearing pretty heavy armor, so I wouldn't expect to be able to, to be honest. Can we change our armor in this game? I like the armor, but I just... 20,000, you selling shit? Okay, we can hop up this way. Oh, okay. Treasure acquired. Break barrel failed. What? Treasure acquired. So we need something... Okay, that's fine. Okay, we that's cool. We need to level up before we can break some barrels. Okay. Uh, there's a girl over here, kicking her legs. There's this koi koi koi. This is not Central Exchange. This place is important for exports of paperwork and our daily and trading and traders. Central Exchange is around the center of the shop in Goldmount. If you want to sell salvage goods, so check to talk to Melelelo. Sure thing. I did already though, so. Okay. I'm just having a little bit of fun moving around the place. Okay, this is, uh, Tonadon? Hi there. Tonadon. Tonadon heard that this is a good idea to move around the side of the back of enemy during battle. Now me thinks this info might be relevant for repairs around Goldmouth. When it's hard to hammer nails, should hit from straight above, but side on. Oof, I don't want to think about all the nails you'll end up ruining. <laughs> true. <laughs> Very true. But then again, I was never good at that type of stuff. Let's talk to Kynon. Have you heard anything interesting lately? There's this legendary uh, Merce Merc, a pal of mine, told me about Zoquim. And get this, he's got a huge sweet tooth. Can't say no to a Cinnapon roll. Pleasant smells are conducive to a good working environment, she says. You should find that special something that peps you up as well. Man, I would love like cinnamon as a smell. So there's, we already talked to P -P 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 Pindo. Let's check around here. Was that a fight? Well, I'm level one, right? I can fight them. Oh, maybe they're like... They're friendly. Oh, they look like they're... No, these guys look like they're like soldiers and they have it under control. Okay, that's fine. Let's talk to you lose. In the heat of battle, everything's about location, location. If you move around to your opponent's blind spot, it'll be much easier to your attacks to connect. My old man practically drilled that into me. You used, me used to be a merce. I guess in a mercenary, don't you know? I really take after the guy, don't you think? Well, actually, I guess you wouldn't know. <laughs> um, a Shenmue taught me that actually uh, with the eye patch guy. I don't know if you guys remember that or even know about that. When you can like that guy with the eye patch, you have to move around to his like the where where his eye is the eye patch. Oh, there's like a hook here, so we can go down and salvage stuff from that point there. So I'm guessing salvage might be a big deal in this game. Um, hey, aren't the blades the coolest thing ever? They're all like a pow and use all those flashy weapons and they fight with power and friendship. Wow, pretty impressive. When I grow up, I want to be a driver too. Then I can get my own blade, and we can be a team, and it'll be the best thing ever. 
Yeah, Kintia. Kintia's a cool name. I'm gonna call my daughter Kintia if I ever have a daughter. Razzly Dazzly. Hi there. Doing good, Rex? Argentum, Argentium, Argentum is amazing and dreamed. As dreamed, and dreamed, as dreamed. Many people buzzy buzzy lie lies. But it's also slightly scary. Bumped into an Ardanian man earlier and he stares straight into Seoul. Razzly Dazzly hightail out of there. Made enough distance between to make sure they don't not follow. Maybe come in handy as a reference if Rex needs to escape from enemy. Thanks. Maybe it will come in handy if Rex needs to escape from enemy. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can purchase anything. Um, I always go straight for the weapons. It's probably a bad idea. But I always go straight to see if I can buy a weapon. Or a new weapon. Uh, we'll see. Hold up a second. Before I get, I forget, I should probably explain how to control the camera. Oh no, I, I'm okay. I'm 100% I'm okay with this. Sorry about that. Um, okay, let's do this. Oh, he's not selling okay, He's not selling items yet. That's fine. So I guess we go up here. Oh, hello, lady. Past here is the room with Chairman Banna. Chairman very busy, not on. No entering unless important business. Temper of Chairman famously short. Not to disturb lightly. Well, he called me in, so I guess we can go and talk to him. Well, the switch is really, like, making noise. It's buzzing a bit. Not buzzing, it's like, oh, it's heating up. Thank you for accepting summons. I, Banna, chairman of Argentum Trade Guild. P pleased to make your acquaintance. Me hear from purporting that friend is salvager of some renown. That being case, I have fincy wincy thing to ask of Rex. A request straight from the chairman. Reward is 100,000 gold. A hundred thousand? Friend here right? Actually, that just the advance. Another 100,000 provided upon completing the job. 200,000 gold in total? Uh, I must be dreaming. I'll do it. I hereby swear to use every skill I possess to ensure this job is successful. I promise I won't let you down. <laughs> you agree without even hearing details of job. Not very smart, Rex. Right. Um, what kind of job is it? You really have skills for this. Of course. I'll be fine. Nah, if you say. Here, crew will explain the task. Bring them in. Sir. Hey. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> what? She's a fucking tiger. Weird haircut. Oh my, that's a Nomura design. That is a Tetsuya Nomura design if I've ever seen one. Drivers and blades. Whoa, they look so cool. So, there's something that we want to haul out. There were some current shifts. It showed up in an uncharted area. But it's a long way down. Nice. I like a good challenge. Banner offered to assemble a team of veterans for this job. But this crew, very picky. They want small, elite team, and only from Latheria. That when Banner have stroke of genius. Should hire Rex! Ha <laughs> ha! You made the right choice. <laughs> a child salvager. Jin, don't tell me we're gonna have to hire some babysitters for this outing too. What the hell? I love your voice. You look as much like a kid as I do, lady. At least I wouldn't wet myself for the promise of the measly underground. What are you trying to say? <clears throat> Rex, was it? I implore you to excuse my lady's discourtesy. Dromark, what have I told you about speaking for me? Shut Drop your... it, Nia. Though I do see your point. In any case, it should be easy enough to make sure. What? Jesus Christ, man. Oh, that's a cool sword. Wouldn't be my choice, but it's cool. What are you playing at? Well, well, well. Malo, 
house, what good does it beating up a kid? You said it yourself, didn't you? What if the kid's not up to it? I said nothing of the sort. You did think it, though, right? And anyway, now we know. You'll do right enough. Though you don't look like a driver. Where'd you learn those arts? Gramp showed me a thing or two, even when I was little. That was his idea of playtime. Well, you've got some skill, I'll give you that. Guts, too. Kid, you better work hard. I think me and you, Tiger, are gonna get along. Actually, I'm gonna get along with this girl too. She's fucking badass. Friends are such rowdy bunch. Here is advance. Use to buy what gear you need. Then go to dock on starboard. Banner has arranged excellent vessel for you there. You got it. It is very shocking though, seeing these heropons as like like. Not just parts of society, but like in high stages of society. Right then. There are plenty of preparations to make first, we should probably check in with Gramps. I, if I just took off on some random ship without telling him, I'm sure he'd be uh, yelling me later when I came back. I better head down to the stairs and get back to Goldmont to return port. Okay, that's fair enough, but we're gonna buy some stuff as well. Jesus! Alright, so we're gonna buy some stuff. I don't know what to buy, please comment in the comment section what to buy. <laughs> what would be, like, what's the best thing? I think that, like, I like just leveling up randomly, so. Uh, there'll never be a situation where I'm gonna be like, oh, I need to, like, you know, whatever, you know. Um, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, this isn't gonna be a full series, of course. It's actually, as I said in the, at the start of this video, but it's just gonna be a little, uh, thing I like to do called Romer's First Consequence. Consequence because, uh, the consequences of playing a game for such a short time. Uh, there will not be judges as, like, a full review of, like, oh, this is bad or this is good or this is bad. They won't be like that. It will just be like, oh, this is my first thoughts of the game and I'll always put that in the context of the, well, what, like, what I'm doing. Uh, it will be unfair to judge a game on its first few hours. And I will see you guys, unless, you know, an RPG on its first few hours. I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.